What's up, tech Carters? Man, we're looking a little different around here today, yeah? Check it out. Uh, let's talk about a new OS. Looks cool, right? We're using a different camera. I'm streamcasting from my laptop, and that's the built-in camera over here. And I guess this should be the apps, right? Huh. Recorder. Camera. About. Hey, it's got DOSBox. I'm all with that. It has Doom. I'm all about that. Huh. This doesn't look normal, does it? Well, it's not. Uh, this is called Pewter.com. The developers liken it to a replacement for Dropbox, a server monitoring OS, or just something fun to code on. Down here, they have a dev center. And inside of the developer center, you can create apps for this, air quotes, operating software. The devs want you to know that you can store files on it. You can get a gig of free space every time someone joins your link. I think it's up here on this gift. So hey, if anybody's gonna try it out, use this invite link right here. Yeah, grab that. Beep. <laughs> I'll leave that up there for a minute because I'm serious. The reason I'm showing you this bespoke operating system is I think it's pretty cool. It's coded in HTML and I believe JavaScript, you know, .js. It doesn't use React or, well, let's click the about icon up here. Pewter is a privacy first personal cloud to keep all your files, apps, and games in one secure place accessible from anywhere at any time. We'll look at their GitHub a little later and we'll look at their four developers page a little later, but just let me show it off to you a little bit. They have Doom over here, JS Doom. All right, okay, it's gonna take control of our mouse. Is it gonna be normal Doom? Can I play it? Oh, forget about it. Look at that. We got regular old Doom. Whoops. We're rocking and rolling. But again, the reason this is a neat project is this is running right in my Firefox web browser. This entire air quotes OS, Dropbox replacement, something you can log on to with a server, is completely coded in what we see websites with every single day. Let's take a look at their GitHub. The Internet OS, free and open source. By the way, you can find it at pewter.com. Pewter is an advanced open source desktop environment in the browser, designed to be feature rich, exceptionally fast, and highly extensible. It can be used to build remote desktop environments or serve as an interface for cloud storage services remote servers, web hosting platforms, and more. Like I said, you can develop on it. I'm gonna click up here on another web page, pewter.js. Pewter.js is something that you can use to build powerful web apps without writing a single line of backend code. It provides full free access to various cloud and AI services. It brings cloud storage, key value store, GPT 3.5 turbo, DALI, hosting and more to your front end code. You can start coding with GPT 3.5 and DALI. How easy is that? If we scroll down a little bit, we'll see some examples. And again, this is just HTML code, really simple. And you talk to the pewter.js backend. This is about cloud storage. Let's click on AI. So look at how easy this is to interact with GPT 3.5. You literally just call pewter.ai and you say, what color was Napoleon's white horse? And then you get a GPT 3.5 response. Pretty stinking cool, man. They have other backends for hosting, cloud key value store, and cloud storage, but that's if you're going to develop for this front end over here. So anyway, I thought this was really cool. If we push control U to see the source of the camera app right here using that back end. Pretty cool, man. I'm going to close that down, go back over. I can push this full screen button just to make it look as os -y as possible. And let's try a couple things out. You can already see the camera over here. It has a camera. It has a sound recorder. 
my mic's not hooked up right now and I'm on a ThinkPad, it won't sound good. Testing. Testing. At all. But, you know, they have a notepad and you can save uh, these files. I saved a test.txt over here. As stated, you can write code, write in pewter.com. There's a terminal. It allows you to ls and move around, but it's not full POSIX compatible. There is a uh, help screen. It tells you what it does have. But again, this is all running right on the web, man. So it's not your full Linux, Unix, whatnot. Let's try a couple apps. These are some that I downloaded extra. Ooh, an interactive fluid simulation. Forget about, ooh, let's throw a fireball, come on. Go for it. Zamboni, baby. Woohoo! I mean, this is pretty crazy, right? This is all happening on the web. This is nothing that you downloaded to your computer. So pretty sick, man. Do you like seeing bespoke stuff like this? Because I sure like looking at it. And hey, if you want to get down to work, you can open up your spreadsheet. Your boss would never know the difference. Do you see any uses for this? Would you pull this up on some server that you have running in the closet? You can take a picture or a video. Well, that pops out. That's kind of neat. I suppose. We could dig in a little more. on their GitHub and see about local development. You can download Pewter to your system, run it with Docker, how to deploy Pewter in production, so you can run it on your servers. Why isn't Pewter built with React, Angular, Vue, etc.? For performance reasons, Pewter is built with vanilla, JavaScript, and jQuery. That was the other one I wasn't remembering. Additionally, we'd like to avoid complex abstractions and to remain in control of the entire stack. I guess so. It's also partly inspired by one of our favorite projects that are built with frameworks, VS Code, Photopia, and only Office. Pewter interacts directly with the DOM and jQuery provides an elegant yet powerful API to manipulate the DOM, handle events, and much more. It's also fast and battle tested. So, what do you think? Are you gonna check Pewter out? Or at least go to pewter.com and give it a once over? I think I am. I might write some code in it, or I might try to develop with their backend just to talk to AI pretty easy. I thought it was a fun one to take five minutes and look at, and I hope you guys did too. Go to pewter.com and use my link code.